let's hear it. What do we have going on today? So today I am deciding to campus board after uh, a long hiatus of doing any such thing. Quinn's gonna follow along with me and try some of the things that I try. But first I wanna give sort of a rundown of the campus board as a whole. The campus board is good for uh, power recruitment, dead pointing, coordination, all of those things play a part when you're, when you're campusing. Typical campus, run, uh, campus board setups will have um, you know, three different sizes of campus rungs. Sometimes you'll get the jug rungs, uh, which are nice. Also, typically you'll find a, a, a kicker rail. You know, let's say you are just warming up to campusing and just sort of getting used to it. Um, it's, it's good to have both feet or one foot on to sort of get used to the, not only the holds, but just the movement in general. Um, also, like if you're using the power strips, which are really small for campusing, it's great to have a kicker for that. Also, a cool, really cool thing the, the kicker is good for if you have one is if you do tend, if you do have some of these jug rungs, you can actually just practicing practice dynoing. That's something that we do on occasion. My favorite rungs to train on are the middle, but I do like to start off on the bigger rungs and then sort of gravitate to the mediums. Um, I think for sort of the best in between for finger strength and dynamic movement, I think the middles are like where it's at. So first, what I'm gonna do is I just do like ladder warmups. Obviously you wanna save balance. That's the whole name of the game for, for this training. So, so lead with right arm, rest a second, lead with left arm. All right. Uh, okay, leading with the other arm. Then I typically go into, I will try to do uh, one, four, six, then nine. It's a good distance in the beginning, sort of a not so bad distance, and then you have to explode out of it. So it really starts recruiting that dynamic movement. I'm gonna do another set of one, four, six, nines, uh, but I'm gonna go over to the medium rungs now. We'll do the rest on the mediums. Next, I like to try to make it a little harder. So now, I'm gonna to try to do a couple sets of one, four, seven. If you can't go that far, certainly pull it a little closer in. Like instead of doing one, four, seven, maybe one, two and a half, three and a half. You know, there's a reason there's half there's halfway runs. So use them if you need them. All right, I'm gonna be joining Michael here on the medium rungs. Nice. <laughs> Look like you're going nowhere. <laughs> Normally I like to do two sets per leading arm on any of these ladders. But for this sake, so I don't die before the end of this video, uh, I'm just gonna do one set per leading arm. Now what I try to do is like maximums. If I do 158, I'll be very impressed, but that's what I'm gonna go for. If I don't hit it again, I'm gonna try to fall on the one below it, and then I'm just gonna bump up to that and match. Yes. Ooh. Okay, now I'm gonna rest for like two minutes. That's no different than doing like a max lift or something with a, well, on a bench press or shoulder press. Like, give yourself a minute.
And what are you doing again? Two, six. Two, six, nine and a half. Is right, which is a down. one, five, eight and a half. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That was it, huh? Yeah. Nice. All right, rest for a second, and then okay. I'll try the yep. other one. Nice, dude. Oh. Now what I want to do is uh, a few variations of bumps. The first one I want to do is I want to basically bump whole whole numbers until I can't go any further. Um, and then I'll, you know, rest for two minutes like I have uh, on the ladders and then and then uh, swap the leading hand. All right, starting leading with right hand, here we go. Oh, no way. What's cool about that exercise is like, uh, whereas like the ladders, you're just doing maximum pulls, this, this you're concentrating on a single arm locked off at once. You're having to sort of use both the locked off arm and the leading arm to sort of dead point. Here we go. All right. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Oh. I'm actually going to go back up to the large rungs and try the bumps again. Oh. <laughs> Still hard. Yeah, come on. Power up. Oh. Oh. So apparently uh, five is as far as I'm getting on the bumps. We'll move on to the next thing after Quinn does his. Come on, come on. What? <laughs> come on. All right. Come on. Yeah, dude. Yes, come on. That was sick. I don't know if there's a, like a proper name for these. I just call them suicides because they're kind of like suicides when you're running. But essentially what we're doing, you start by going as far as you can. You then bump down to the half rung below it, go back up, then go down two rungs, back up, and then you repeat this process until you get all the way back down to the original rung. I'm gonna try to make it to five and go from there, but we'll see. Were you on the big or the medium? I was on the medium. Medium? Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> you got it. Come on. Yeah, dude, come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, God. That's brutal. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, dude. Keep going, come on. Yes, Michael. One more. Nice. Ooh, that was hard. Nice job. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Damn, dude. Well, mm. there's a tension tape ad coming up. Yep. Okay. This doesn't happen every time, but <laughs> to be fair, I haven't done this in a while, so the skin right there just wasn't prepared for what I was about to do to it. Look at all that fucking skin. I'll just keep rolling. Put in. this on Will's desk. Or I'm putting it on Carrie's desk. <laughs> She's like, what is this? It's decent. Suck, taking off. All right, back in it. Here we go. <laughs> My turn, I guess. Come on. Come on. 
Yeah, dude, come on. Down to two. Do it, come on. Come on. Wow. So I'm gonna do a coordination uh, exercise now. I'm gonna start with the first rung and the two and a half rung. You can do this however, maybe start you know a little bit closer um, if you've never done it. Um, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do the first rung, the two and a half, and I'm gonna swap back and forth and just campus like this. And I'm gonna go four to six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If this is kind of difficult for you and you find yourself like looking at the target hold and then having to kind of look up and down, look in between and let your peripheral, vi peripheral vision uh, kind of guide you. So another coordination drill that I kind of enjoy doing is similar to Michael's in the sense that you're swapping hands, but we're gonna add in going up at the same time. So each time that you swap hands, you're actually going down a half rung and up one and a half rungs with the other hand. And then you switch again. And it's just kind of like swapping, but slowly trending upwards on the rungs. Okay, so we're gonna, now we're gonna do doubles. And doubles are nice because again, it's, it's working coordination. Uh, what I like to do is go up to four, come down to three, up to five, and so on. And since I'm not really switching arms, I can just do two of these. Uh, I'm gonna do doubles as well, kind of similar, but I'm just gonna go straight up. I'll start on two. Okay. Go two, four, six, eight. Oh, and nice. then go eight, six, four, two. Cool. So this is like a, again, this is a very long form of some of the things that I do on the campus board. I'm not intending for someone to take this and do all of this uh, in one session, but uh, you can take bits and pieces and piece together a solid, solid routine from it. Um, so hopefully it's helpful. All right. <laughs> okay.